Hey guys, welcome to an episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the pure CSS into our project. Now, when it comes to doing styling and CSS in React and Webpack and all that, there are so many options and like it's really confusing where to start. And this was one of the like places where I got like, oh my God, my head's going to explode. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it very simple. Uh, we're going to go with a plain Jane uh, CSS. We're not going to do any, you know, like CSS module loaders and whatever. We're going to keep it very simple. So let's take a look at what we're going to install here. I'm going to head over into the pure CSS here. So this is pure. Uh, it's done by Yahoo. And what we're going to do is we're just going to install it. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, you can do it from the NPM package or um, you can use the minified version here. Either one is fine. Um, so I'm going to show you. So to do this is very simple. You copy this style sheet here um, and it's going to be served from the CDN. And then so what you do is in the index or HTML, you paste it in here and then you're good to go. So I'm going to show you another way to install it. Um, and that is basically we're going to install it as, a, as an NPM package, uh, as a dependency. And then basically uh, we are going to, um, you know, include it in our, our project. So uh, so now you know how to do it, like if you use a, the CDN from here. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, use the pure CSS uh, NPM package over here. So um, let me clear the screen here. Uh, and then, so what I'm going to do now is do npm install uh, pure CSS save. So this is going to be a, you know a dependency for our production app um, because we need to include it. Uh, so once we install this, uh, we're going to see the structure. Um, you know, it's going to be in the build. So if you look in here, there's you know tons of folders in here. But if we find the pure CSS folder, um, let's see here. All right, so pure CSS, you'll see the build folder. Uh, we just want to include the entire thing, so pure.css over here. Um, and to do that, we're going to go into our, um, our application over here. So let me close up the node module. Um, so if I go into the index over here, so this is the application index. Uh, so I'm going to delete this style.css because we're, gonna, you know, we're not going to use this anymore. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to include the, 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 the CSS from pure, uh, and I'm just going to include it at the top over here. So import, uh, and then pure CSS, uh, build, and then uh, pure.css. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, you know, that's, that's all we really need to do. Uh, we can remove this one now. Uh, as you can see, the linting is showing us that, you know, we're, that file doesn't exist anymore. Um, so let's try this out. So I'm going to get over into the layout here. And what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to give it a class name, uh, pure G. So this is the grid system now. And, and then basically here, what we're going to do is we're going to implement a three column grid. Um, so based on this over here. So if I hit over to the grid over here, uh, you can see how the grid system works. So you can see here, what we're going to do is this exact thing. So uh, I'm going to add the pure U one third. So this is one third. So we want it to be, you know, in thirds. Uh, so I'm going to do a div uh, class name and then a uh, pure U one third. And then I'm going to call this one first and just copy like that like that. And then here, this one is going to be second, third. So everything works. If everything works correctly, uh, what we're going to get is uh, we're going to basically render out three columns uh, in our project. So I'm going to head over into here, uh, do a reload real quick. Okay, it says unable to connect. So I need to start npm start like that. and head over to the browser again. So as you can see, the grid system is now in place. You can see first, second, and third, and you see the font has also changed, which means pure CSS is now taking effect in our application here. Um, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're gonna start building this thing. So now we have you know, the grid system. Um, you know, we're gonna, the next thing is we're gonna build the contact. Then we're gonna render the contact out. We're gonna just hard code everything. And then once we've uh, got the hard code version done, then we're gonna like make it more dynamic based on a, a data set that we have in a separate file. 
Uh, so we're going to kind of simulate the server using that file. Um, you know, it'll be more clear as we move along. But now we've got the CSS working. Pure CSS is now working in our application. Um, so we're going to take a pause right over here. Um, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video to support our channel. Uh, and uh, if you feel like, you know, that this is a useful piece of content, uh, become a member to support us so we can make more videos for everybody out there. Um, we hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one.